Are you ever naughty? Sometimes, I bet. Well, little Miss Naughty was naughty all the time. <coughs> she woke one Sunday morning and looked out of the window. Looks like a nice day for being naughty. <laughs> that Sunday, Mr. Uppity was out for his morning stroll. I'm going to knock his hat off. Just you watch. From behind a wall, Miss Naughty knocked Mr. Uppity's hat off his head with a walking stick. My hat! <coughs> Mr. Greedy had put a turkey in the oven for lunch. A rather large turkey. Oh, don't fancy that turkey. I'm going to pinch it. Oh, who's that at the door? Just when I'm about to eat my delicious uh, lunch. <laughs> um, hello? Oh. oh, no! Poor Mr. Greedy. A sausage isn't much of a lunch when you've been looking forward to a whole turkey, is it? And do you know what she did that evening? She went to an expensive restaurant and ordered all the most expensive food on the menu. Uh, yeah, so I'll have oysters, caviar, fresh salmon, tea bone steak, well done, two plates of chips, lemon meringue pie and your best bottle of lemonade. And do you know what she did next? She sent the bill to Mr Mean. Naughty girl. What a shock. The next day, she met Mr Worry. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, oh, I see. What, uh, what, what is the problem then? Well, it looks to me as if you've got measles. Your face is covered in spots. Oh, dear, dear. He worried off to see Dr. Makewell. Dr. Makewell listened to Mr. Worry's tale and took a mirror from his drawer. Oh, there's, there's no spots. What a thing to say to me when it wasn't true. <laughs> oh, what a lovely day. You know, ain't even dinner time yet. <laughs> the Mr. Men decided to hold a meeting. Something has to be done, announced Mr. Rappity, showing them his bent hat. Mr. Greedy thought. Um, yes. <coughs> he cleared his throat and spoke. Um, well, um... <coughs> I... Uh, I've... no... no idea. Well, I have, piped up Mr. Worry. I know what that naughty little girl needs, and... and I know who can do it. Oh, uh, really? Who? Uh, what? 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 Oh, <laughs> that'd be telling, wouldn't it? Chuckled Mr. Worry, and went off to see a friend of his. Someone who could do impossible things, like making himself invisible. That afternoon, Mr. Nosey was asleep under a tree. Little Miss Naughty crept towards him with a pot of paint in one hand and a paintbrush in the other and a rather large grin on her face. I'm going to paint the end of his nose red. But just as she was about to do this dreadful deed, something happened. The brush jumped out of her hand, dipped itself into the pot of red paint and began to chase Little Miss Naughty down the road. <laughs> Somebody invisible was holding the brush and pot. I wonder who. Mr. Jelly was waiting for a bus. All alone when, behind his back, little Miss Naughty crept up quietly. She had a balloon in one hand and a pin in the other. Oh, she couldn't do that to poor, nervous Mr. Jelly, could she? Oh, yes, she could. <laughs> He went off jump when his balloon goes pop. But just as she was about to make the balloon go pop, something happened. The balloon began to grow larger and larger as somebody invisible blew more air into it. Miss Naughty began to lift off the ground. Ah! Help! 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 Put me down! She sailed away up and over the trees on the balloon until a bird pecked it. Poor Miss Naughty. She fell into the duck pond. <coughs> Mr. Lazy was in bed, fast asleep. And outside his house, 
Little Miss Naughty stood by the front door. She raised her hand. Oh, she couldn't be so naughty as to knock on the door and wake up poor Mr Lazy. Not at six o'clock in the morning. She couldn't. Oh, yes, she could. <laughs> then I'll make him angry waking him up this early. But just before she did, guess what? That naughty girl felt someone who was invisible tweak her nose. Hard. Ouch! And then her nose was tweaked again. Ouch! Ow! Get off! No! It's not fair! And little Miss Naughty ran home holding her nose. And after that, she was cured. No naughtiness at all. Mr. Worry went round to thank his invisible friend. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Impossible. He said, thank you for helping to cure poor little Miss Naughty. <laughs> My pleasure, laughed Mr. Impossible. But it did take a week. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. And, uh, and a tweak, he said. <laughs> She's blunt. He's fat. They're late. And not his tickle. She's trouble. Sunshine. We're happy tiny. We need to eat. I'm She's happy. She's little Miss Sunshine. I'm fuzzy. I'm greedy. I'm a bottle boy. I'm too rich. I'm magic. I'm me. I'm a boss. I'm a dream. 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 I'm a dream.